Guys, so we uh, survived the winter. Uh, it's kind of depressing. I got all the uh, ice fishing stuff put back on the shelves in the corner here in the back in the basement man cave. Um, but uh, we survived the winter. Uh, we had some really good fishing trips. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Uh, I had some great pan fishing this winter. Had some good ice. Uh, never, never caught that many crappies. For me uh, the crappie fishing was great um, so if you haven't had a chance to check out those videos yet they're in our hard water section on our channel and uh, had lots of good pan fish action but uh, what I want to show you guys today is uh, now that it's getting to be springtime and uh, we're gonna be back to hitting Lake Ontario and uh, some of the surrounding trips I wanted to show you guys a quick how-to on tying these uh, salmon flies. So these are uh, salmon trolling fly. Um, the material is a four inch banded mylar tinsel. Uh, as you can see I got a bag. They make a whole array of colors. Um, there's lots of people that sell this material online um, but it's a four inch banded mylar tinsel is what it's called um, and that's the that's the main ingredient in these uh, trolling flies here um, there's also obviously lots of people sell these flies and um, the materials aren't really expensive uh, it's just a you know it's a little time consuming so that's why they charge a decent bit for the flies but if you're into uh, you know working at your house and making your own stuff um, you can make these pretty inexpensively and uh, you can also play with a uh, you know a bunch of different colors and give them cool names and try out some different stuff and then you'll be the only one that has it so when you catch fish on it uh, you know you can tell your tell your friends and they'll be all jealous because they don't have one and then you can make some for them and charge them like 10 bucks so uh, it's a good deal so I'm gonna show you guys how to make these today it's really not too hard um, we got our fly tying vise set up here uh, so we got our mylar tinsel um, we have these heads um, and these are also available online uh, lots of people different lots of different uh, vendors sell these and uh, so you can pick those up online as well there's several different styles and um, we have you're gonna need some thread sealant and uh, I have some here a couple different kinds this is just fly head cement it's another flexible biodegradable head cement here you can use those or if you don't have those and you don't want to buy them you just uh, steal your wife's nail polish and that's what I did today and it was working great for me and um, you know if she catches you and she gets mad you know you just be like oh I want to see what brand you use so I can buy you some for Mother's Day or something like that and uh, so we got that and that's going to seal our thread once we wrap the mylar on the head. So we got our heads, we got our mylar tinsel, thread sealant, and our uh, bobbin here with the fly tying thread. So, oh, and we got a ruler because we're going to measure off uh, how much uh, tinsel we're using. So we can kind of be, that lets you be consistent with your flies. So if you do get a pattern like this one, I'm going to show you guys how to tie today. Um, if you get a pattern that works, uh, you can replicate that because you write it down on a sticky note here. I got my, my sticky notes and uh, these are ones that I've caught fish on before. Uh, the one I'm going to show you today is the Whiskey Sour. Uh, that's one of my favorites. That's this one right here. Um, and uh, it's got four different colors in it and we're going to tie that one. And uh, I don't know why I called it whiskey sour. You know, it looks kind of pretty and gives you a headache, I guess. But uh, uh, the salmon like it. I've caught uh, quite a few fish on this. So this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the fly. And I'm going to try and keep it short. And then the next video, I'm going to show you uh, how to do the rig with the flasher as well. Because this fly is designed to be run behind a uh, flasher with uh, you know rigged up on a mono or fluorocarbon leader and so I'll show you that in the next video because I don't want to make this too long um, and these flies work great for 
kings especially uh you know they use them on all the great lakes for that have kings they're really popular um but we also catch uh rainbows coho even lake trout on these things and uh i wanted to use them for saltwater stuff too i haven't got around to that yet but i think they'd work great i know uh a guy i work with just went to the dominican and he said they trolled flies really similar to this for mahi down there and uh so hopefully we'll get to try these for some salt water applications too but uh we'll get tying here here we go one thing i forgot to mention in the last little setup segment there guys is how i keep the head in place while i'm tying um i use a little finish nail uh you can see it here and uh basically i took the dremel and flattened one side the side i clamp in the vise and that holds the finish nail in the vise and then you just uh slide the head over the finish nail uh, you could use any piece of wire anything like that uh, the finish nail works good you just have to find something that the uh the hole and whatever style head you're using fits tightly on there and it kind of holds it in place okay so we have our head on our finish nail here all set ready to go um we're gonna get cutting our material here um so for this fly we're gonna use, you can see this material is banded at the top, that's what keeps it together, so you're gonna just snip this off however much you want. This is a light blue. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use two inches of this, about, you know, this isn't rocket science here, so you don't have to be exact. Um, and then we have the chartreuse flat, this one's called. And, uh, we got some pieces that are kind of messed up here so I'm just going to get rid of that and we're going to do another two inches of the chartreuse flat here kind of roughly measuring that off get that done and we're going to do this this color here you can see it's got almost like some it's almost got that UV effect to it um, so we're going to do two inches of that as well. This is called uh, Spectrum, I believe is the name of this material. And uh, they make every, every color of the rainbow of this stuff now, all kinds of glow. They make glow, UV, every color you could possibly imagine, Mirage, all that stuff. And then this is a um, just a, like a chartreuse yellow. Here, we're just going to use an inch of this for the finish here. So, there's that. So we have all our material cut now. We can set that aside. So these are the four bands we're going to use to tie this fly. And when it's all finished, it's going to look like this. And, you know, when it's swimming through the water, going to be the skirt's going to be folded back like this and uh, so that's it there you can see it looks pretty good when it's done uh, it's kind of hard to envision it when you just have your bands here but that's why it's fun to try out different colors and play with them um, so what we have you can see here when I sit them next to each other when you tie these things um, this is the front so as you're trolling, this is the nose of the lure, basically. So it's going to be getting pulled this way by the boat. Um, so when you tie this, you lay the mylar on facing forward, okay? And you can see see it here in the finished product. So the mylar is being tied facing forward, but when you actually fish the fly, um, this this folds back like a skirt just like a spinner bait would and uh, you know so it looks more like this when it's swimming through the water with the flasher so um, okay so we'll get going here okay so we're gonna get rolling here we got our head secured on our finish nail there Make sure it's nice and tight and we're gonna start by putting a, a base of thread on the head so I'm gonna wrap it, I don't know, about 20 or so times here. And uh, I'll sink it just a little bit there. And then what you wanna do is, and you're gonna do this after you put every band on too, 
uh, you're gonna do your wraps and then you just want to do a couple of loop knots and uh, I'll try and get close here so you guys can see this I just grab the thread with my fingers and make a loop like that and then you put the loop over the head and pull it tight and that's gonna secure uh, your thread onto the head so we'll do that a couple times Grab it with your fingers, wrap, twist it, make a loop, put it over the head, pull tight. Easy. Trim our tag end off. We'll get rolling with our first color here. Um, this is the light blue. And um, again, this is the front of the lure. Um, so it's going to be going this way as you're trolling it. But uh, we're going to kind of tie this backwards so the material is going to lay this way when we tie it. So um, take your first band, the two inches of light blue and just wrap it around now you might mess up a few of the the bands of mylar when you're doing this uh, these little fingers because uh, they do tend to kink if you pinch them and you might do the, do that um, especially before you get good at it uh, after after some practice you get better at it but uh, if you do it's no big deal uh, just at the end when we finish the fly you can trim those little those little filaments off so it's no big deal so we got it wrapped around and uh, now we're just gonna take our thread and we're gonna permanently attach that to the head there so again we're gonna do I usually do just enough wraps to uh, cover the material so you can't really see it anymore and uh, that's usually enough you don't want to go too crazy because then you'll end up with too much thread and you'll end up with a really bulky wad of thread there on your fly you don't really want that so again we wrapped it about let's say 20 times and we're doing a few of the loop knots to finish so I'll probably speed this up so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing but uh, we'll get our other three colors here tied on and uh, then we'll finish her up Okay guys, so this is what you want it to look like when it's finished. Um, everything's laid out nice. We've got all four colors on there. And uh, we're gonna finish it with uh, nail polish. So I've tied my, my loop knots to finish it there. I'm gonna just trim my thread off. Thread's done. Take your nail polish and give it a nice uh, coating all the way around the thread. Because the last thing you want is your tinsel coming off your head when you're trying to fish with it and this is gonna seal all your loop knots and all that thread on the head there and keep that from happening so got her all sealed up and uh, she's looking good so uh, we'll let that dry and we'll show you the finished product all right guys we are golden here the nail polish is dried and this fly is done so we're gonna pull it off the head and uh, you can just kind of comb out your tinsel a little bit here and uh, did pretty well but uh, if you did kink some of your little strands of uh, tinsel here when you were tying the fly and wrapping no big deal just take your scissors and get them in there and just trim those little individual strands out you'll never see them no big deal um, so basically for you know well under a buck here we've uh, created a nice fly that I know is gonna catch fish because I've used this color before and uh, the salmon love it so get your guy get yourself some uh, banded mylar tinsel guys if you're into this stuff and uh, try tying up some different colors in your in your basement have fun with it try a bunch of different things and uh, you know see what happens and uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, rig these up on a mono or fluorocarbon leader 
with uh, hooks and beads and everything and the flasher and you know how to rig them up to actually fish but this is it for this video uh, how I like to store them is basically you take just a little uh, little ziplock baggie here and uh, just push them nose first down in and there you have it got yourself a nice tinsel fly so hope you guys enjoy the video and hope you guys try this out and, uh, you know, always leave any comments or suggestions, questions, anything. If you guys uh, do this yourself and have suggestions, I love to hear them. I actually learn a lot from you guys and the comments you put on the videos. And I always appreciate the interaction. So we'll see you soon.